Mr. Speaker, we will take no lessons from the conservative. Today we have Philippe Champagne talking about Loblaw's lobbyists and how it backfires in his face. Let's have a listen to these two guys go at it. It's not just crime that this government's policy is making worse. On April 1st, the Prime Minister is going to drive up grocery prices again with another hike to his carbon tax. And the impact on this affects Canadians every step of the way from farm to fork. Keith Warriner, professor at the University of Guelph, said 44% of growers are operating at a loss presently and three quarters have difficulty offsetting production cost increases. Instead of driving grocery prices up even higher, why doesn't he cancel his plan to hike the carbon tax? Hey, hey. The Honourable Minister for Innovation. Mr. Speaker, we will take no lessons from the Conservative who have no plan, Mr. Speaker. I guess their plan is to ask Jenny, Mr. Speaker. But on this side of the House, Mr. Speaker, we have a plan to make grocery to stabilize price in this country, Mr. Speaker. It's called competition, Mr. Speaker. Canadians at home understand that. They are the only one who are blocking the further reform we want to put, Mr. Speaker, because Canadians understand that we want stabilized price, we want more choice, we want more competition. On this side, we'll fight for Canadians at every step of the way. The Honourable Member from Regina Capel. You would think that they would have thrown those talking points out after this week when we <laughs> learned, Mr. Speaker, all the relationships between Liberal staff and Loblaws, like Brian Topp and Don Guy, both who collect checks from Loblaws, and last year they met twice with the PM's Director of Policy. Oh. Or, like Taya Backett, the in-house lobbyist at Loblaws. She used to have an office in the PMO. You could run a superstore with all the staff uh. over there and have relationships with Loblaws. When will the Prime Minister realize it's not Conservative volunteers driving up grocery prices, it's the carbon tax, stupid! You know, Andrew Scheer, I only appreciate it after he was not the chief guy there, that he's a very good storyteller and he can re write very well. I, I think at the end he said something, something stupid. I, I didn't get that what that is. And the names that he's giving of the Liberals, somehow with the uh, subtitles, it's all blurred out. That always happens when it's some juicy information. It's always blanked out there. But uh, And the pun of the superstore, he's really good at that. expression known to, to many, uh, I do uh, warn all MPs uh, to please to try to uh, watch uh, and to stay safely on the right side of parliamentary debate. Uh, the Honourable um, Minister of, in of Innovation. Speaker, I will abide by your words, Mr. Speaker. And one thing that we're doing when he talks about superstar is right, and, and it's, I'm happy to talk about that because that's actually what we're trying to bring, Mr. Speaker. We're trying to bring more competition. I've been in touch with foreign grocers to bring more competition, to bring more options for Canadians. And people are watching at home. They understand and on this side of the house, Mr. Speaker. We have a plan. We are working for Canadians. On this side, they have no plan. And the only plan we've seen is to ask Jenny, Mr. Speaker. We'll continue to work for Canadian at every step of the way. The Honourable Member for Louis Saint Laurent. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. After eight years of this Liberal government, the housing crisis is hitting Canadians hard. For example, in Quebec... On uh, Philippe Champagne's comment, no grocery is going grocery is going to come to Canada. They are scared beyond their belief of scared of a Liberal government. They're scared of the distances, they're scared of the carbon tax, they're scared of the gas to move stuff around. I mean, sure, we'll buy stuff from uh, Chinese uh, groceries and Mexican groceries and American one. Sure, you can find those products, but the ones in Canada are just going to get screwed, every every farmer, because it's not fair. Because the Mexican guy, farmer doesn't pay the carbon tax. He doesn't pay it going all the way up to America on well, with gas, so it gets passed on. That's what... Philippe and they can read all their little scripts that they want. They're very good at that, but they don't understand at all what's going on. They just keep reading scripts. And this whole question period is dog's breakfast. I don't know. You got to look at the way the Americans do it or someone else, but you know, maybe they need to step into the 21st century and do it differently. Cause this is just a stupid back and forth of reading pieces of paper in my opinion. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.